we're talking about yarn today. We've got our new subscription boxes, so stay tuned and we'll show you what I got. Alrighty, so we are talking yarn today. I got my subscription to Knit Crate, which you can see here, and my Annie's Hook and Needle Club. So I'm going to open these up and show you what I got. So um, if you're not familiar with these two um, companies, I will put a link in the description below. But basically they are um, subscription, monthly um, subscriptions, and you get a box of yarn. And each one gives you a little project book and um, Raverly, or Raverly, <laughs> I see the Raverly logo on their box. Knit Crate also usually gives you a little free gift inside and they, Knit Crate, it, we're going to start with them first. They always have, they have like four different ones and they just, they just came out with a, a new uh, subscription box called Malabrigo for those of you who like that type of yarn. Uh, I get the sock artisan crate, but they have the regular knit crate and then they have an art, just a regular artisan crate. So you usually get um, some either their house brand or a ind independent dyeing um, company uh, of yarn. And um, mine in particular is a sock artisan crate. So you get um, a sock yarn and it, so you, you just never, it's always a surprise. There's always a color scheme and there's a color theme and you never know which color you're going to get it's always a surprise um sometimes there's only one color i'm not sure about this month because i wasn't been watching all the updates but we're going to go ahead and start with that first so inside your box you get your yarn a booklet inside and a free gift so my free gift this time was this northern europe set set of house plants and it's like it says on here that it's like a masking tape but it's really when you look at it it's more like this that washi tape that you use for um, making gift cards and things like that so that's kind of cute um, a few months ago i got some really cute stitch markers uh, for my free gift and then this month's yarn that i got is this yarn here and if you i'm not sure if you can see but there's these sparkles if i turn it in the light that are in the yarn and this is the name of the yarn it's called bad <laughs> mom yarns llc and it's a luxury yarns with a celtic twist and there's their website there and then on the other side of this it says the color name is icy mom it is a fingering weight and you get 100 grams or 402 yards uh, needle size would be one to three us and it is 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 10% stellina. It says hand wash in cool water and lay flat to dry. And the colorway is called water. Well, I'm not sure if it's this or this, but either way, it's a very pretty blues. Um, this is a saturated colorway and may bleed. Please follow care instructions. So there must be care instructions um, in the, on their website or inside. But this is the yarn. It's super pretty. This would make some cool socks. So then they send you a book. And on the cover, this is the book. You get the little cover picture there. And inside they show you a little sneak peek of all the other um, crates. And so here are some of the colors of the different crates you could have gotten. Um, I believe that... This is the one I got, and then it looks like there was a pink you could have gotten. And then these other ones might be just the regular artisan ones. And then they also give you a crochet and a knit pattern inside. And they tell you a little bit about the companies and what they do. And so this is the pattern here for that shawl on the front. And then, let me see. And then this is a another... Um, pattern here for this like scarf so it's really cool I really like all the yarn I've gotten I, I get this every every month and I just haven't had time to work with any of the yarn yet but I can't wait to do so um, but this is the this is the pattern for the socks that they for my for my yarn this is the socks that you would make with it those would be really pretty 
So that's what they do. And then so now and on the back of the booklet, they give you a, a color. Like this is a sneak peek of the theme for next month. So I'm pretty excited to see what we get. So that is Knit Crate. Um, like I said, if you go there, they have lots of options. They even have reward programs for people who um, you can rack up for the, like, say, like when you first order your first box, you get so many points. And then when you rack up so many points, you can use those to get other free things like um, $5 off shipping or your next crate and things like that. So they're, so they're pretty good. Um, I've, I've been happy so far with every box I've gotten. If you have tried Knit Crate or you have gotten a box of, of yarn, um, you know, let me know uh, what you get and how what you think about it. Um, it's okay if you don't like it. You can tell me that too. I I I, I would be open to any any of that. Um, and then so next off is the other subscription yarn, and there's lots of them out there, but these are the two that I get. Um, it is called Annie's Hook and Needle Club, and I actually am showing a or working on a project and I'll put a picture here um, that project I'm working on uh, trying to make up the bag from the very first our subscription I got but every month they give you a different project so this month I'm gonna open the package and we got these looks like they're a bulky size yarn so we got these three colors here and then we have this book and just like Knit Crate, they give you a book. And so this one is going to be, this month is about nesting stash baskets. So you got the three colors there that you see here are the three basket sizes you can make. Of course, you could make them with any color yarn because the patterns can be used over and over. And they always give you a crochet. And just like Knit Crate, they give you a crochet and a knit pattern. And that is what they look like when they're crocheted. And if you do the knitting option, they look like this. And it says here, we got the three colors here. So there's this, this one here. And there is the website for those of you who wanna check them out. And again, I'll put the description box, I'll put the links to all these below. It says it's cool machine, wash gentle, tumble dry. And let's see what's over here. Okay, so it is a five bulky weight, 25% wool, 75% acrylic, and you get 143 yards. I don't see a name of the color on here anywhere. But this is kind of like a tealy blue. So it's very pretty. And then you have this like tannish gray color. The same, the same information on the side. They're all the yarns are pretty much the same. The colors are just different. And then you have this really in the camera. It kind of looks like a Christmas red, but it's more actually in person. It's more like a cranberry red. Still really, really pretty. And again, you know, I suppose you could use this yarn for any project you wanted to make. It doesn't necessarily have to be for this one, but I do plan on. Um, getting these projects made i just have to you know with my recent events i'm just trying to get everything situated but um when i do get the project that i was working on from the first month which is that bohemian style bag um, i will post pictures and we'll do an update i'm hoping to have it done when we do our first um podcast of this year um, i'm still debating whether or not i want to do that as a live podcast or not but i will keep you posted on that but yeah so these are my subscriptions for this month and again, there is the website or the, um, the hashtag for Knit Crate. Um, but you can always go to knitcrate.com and let me know if you, if you subscribe to either one of these or if you would like to or if you have any questions on them, I would be happy to answer them. Oh, there it is on the side of the box, the Knit Crate website. Um, and I just want to say a big thank you again to all my subscribers. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell so that you can make sure you stay up to date with the new content. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'm hoping to get more details out about the podcast. You can always keep up to date on my Instagram. I try to keep that updated when I post new things. Um, but like I said, if you're a subscriber and you hit that bell, you'll be uh, updated with all of that information. And all, all any other information you'd like to know, you can find on the About page on my channel. And with that being said, I want to thank all of you for watching. And as always, so what is in your craft room today?